What's going on YouTube? So in our last video, we went over the roster update. In this video, we're going over all the new content that came out. We got new captains, we got a new program, we got new packs. And with the new captains, I wanna show you guys the captain glitch and how that you can get a captain boost like I have right here with your captain on the bench. I know people made videos on this before. I have one on TikTok. I figured I'd share it to the YouTube community as well for those that watch just my YouTube and do not watch my TikTok. So it's a lot easier to show you on TikTok because I have my phone. I have actually a, a camera that shows you my phone so you can see exactly what I do on the mobile app because you need the mobile app in order to do the captain glitch. So be sure to go check out that TikTok video if you guys run into any trouble. There'll be a link in the description down below. But if you just follow my instructions, have your mobile companion app with you and listen to my instructions carefully, you should have no problem. So we are going to show you the captain glitch before we get into the rest of the content that just came out. That way we can just get it over with. So we're gonna put our captain back in where they're supposed to be. We're gonna unassign the captain like it never happened. So this is like basically where you would start at. Now, first things first is make sure you have the person that you wanna replace that captain with on the bench. And then also you're gonna to go to your mobile app and you're gonna basically select and view the lineup of whichever lineup that you're doing this on. So mine's the mission lineup. So I'm gonna go on my phone, hard to see for you guys, I know. We're gonna go on our phone and we're gonna to go to that lineup screen. Just make sure it's on that lineup screen. And then you're gonna go and assign your captain in the game, not on the app. Assign your captain in the game, just like I'm doing right here in front of you. Once you assign that captain, you will now move that captain and replace them with your per the with player that you want to replace them with on the bench. Now, once you do that, you're going to go back to the mobile app and there's going to be tabs up at the top. You're going to scroll over to hitting captain and then it's going to be a screen like that. And then you're going to press view captains and then you're going to get a screen like this. And then up at the top right, it's going to say assign. You're going to assign that captain. It's going to say it was successful. And now you're going to go back out. And now you'll see on this screen, now we got arrows pointing up saying that they're getting boosted. So now when you go back to manage squad, you have the boost and your captain is on the bench. And that's how you guys do the captain glitch in MLB The Show 24. Like I said, if you have any trouble and need a video to actually follow it and see my phone a little bit better, there'll be a link to the TikTok video down in the description below in this video. Now, with that being said, I wanna talk about that captain. So we have a new captains today. So let's go take a look at them in the store real quick before we tell you exactly what we did. So there is Jackie Robinson. Jackson Churio, Justin Verlander, and Joe Nathan. Now, Joe Nathan's captain boost, he boosts players that were born in Texas, but there's just not that many of them. We tried this one, and it's contact versus righty, batting clutch, and then 15 hits per nine and 15 pitching clutch. There's just not a lot of players, and it only boosts one side. It's only helping versus righties and your clutch, which is really, really good. Um, Justin Verlander. Verlander is another tough one. Pitchers who have thrown a no-hitter or a combined no-hitter and catchers that have caught a no-hitter. I haven't tried this one yet because I feel like it's probably like one of the worst ones, but it could help some pitchers for sure. So we'll definitely try it out. I just don't think it's the best. Jackson Churio, this one could be good. There's just not that many cards out. It basically boosts players that are 23 or lower in age. This includes like flashbacks. So if there's any rookie, like rookie Chris Sale fits this, but you get a 12 power boost versus righties, a 12 contact boost versus lefties, a 15 pitching clutch. Once again, it only helps one side. It helps both, but one side's contact and then one side's power. It doesn't help both sides, which that's another reason I don't like it. If we look back at the Carlos Santana boost, this is why we're gonna get into Jackie Robinson right here. That boosted both sides and it boosted clutch, similar to what Jackie Robinson does. 
plus 10 contact versus right, plus con plus 10 contact versus left, plus eight batting clutch, and eight hits per nine. However, there's only one pitcher that fits him anyways, so don't worry about that. And his boost is players that have appeared on the cover of MLB The Show. So there's not a lot of players that fit that, however, but you only need, I believe, 10 of them to get the max boost. And then there's Cedric Mullins, which I haven't really seen too many of these ones either. Plus 12 contact versus right, plus 12 contact versus left. So it fits both. So I like this one. And then plus eight batting clutch. So this could be another really good one. I just had got to test it out and see if there's enough cards that fit the 30 home runs and 30 stolen bases. Uh, I will probably test it out in a future video. But right now, Jackie Robinson, if you look at this team I got right here, pretty good. Uh, Juan Soto does not fit the boost, and Chipper Jones does not fit the boost. But if you see my bench, we got McCutcheon, Bryce Harper, Baez, and then obviously Jackie. And those, those are pretty good. I'll remove my camera so you guys can see. So Baez, 95-104. Uh, Bryce Harper, 96-102. We're only talking about contact because it only boosts contact. The power doesn't change. 94-105 with 108 clutch. But if you start looking like Shohei Otani, 123-111 108 clutch. Ken Griffey, 125-118-119 clutch. Tatis, 125-116-119 clutch. Derek Jeter's max everything, but I think he already was. Yeah, he's max everything anyways. Uh, Aaron Judge, 122-125 with 121 clutch. Joe Maurer was already max, I believe, and he is. So he's got max everything, but he still fits the boost. He's part, part of the boost, and he's one of the better cards. Vlad, very good Vlad card right here, 118, 113, 109 clutch. So a pretty good squad that you could definitely run if you like some of these players. Some players like I struggle with, like Aaron Judge, I struggle with him, but... Other than that, maybe Vlad with his swing a little bit, but still definitely going to run this team a little bit. And it's, it's you know, it's free, pretty much. All these cards already had earned. I didn't have to buy no cards. There might be more cards on the market that fit this boost. I just don't know about them yet. Don't pay attention to my starting pitchers or nothing because I need to change these from uh, some other boosts that I was trying. And to some other new cards that came out. We got Season of Two Awards. PJ Merlando, not too great. Uh, Brooks Baldwin. Angel Martinez. Willie Calhoun. Tyler Phillips. And Reese Hines. Now, I like this card because he fits the Corbin Carroll boost, so I'll definitely give him a, a shot with that plus 15 contact from both sides. And what's a new contact, content drop without packs? We got Season 2 Awards. Marquez. Lawrence Butler. Michael. Jacob Wilson. And Brian Bello. We also got home stretch players. Junior Caminero. Billy Wagner. Richie Ashburn, Harry Ford, Jet Williams, and Jacob Mizorowski. This card looks pretty good for a 96. And Ken Griffey Sr., which also looks pretty good for a 96. And new chase pack, James Wood. And new headliner, Bryson Stott. And new flawless BR rewards in Matt Kane. Four seam slider, slurve, circle, and, and sinker, along with break outlier. Could be decent. We'll have to see. 121 pitching clutch definitely helps. And we got Ethan Solace. 108, 113, 110, 95 with 105 clutch. Not too bad. Great fielding catcher for sure, too. That is a lefty, so I don't know if he replaces Joe Maurer for me. But he is two new cards in the BR program. And we also got some new BR cards as well. So make sure you guys are grinding the BR program. Free season two cards. We got Manuel Mar Margot. I, I, 
I butchered that name. We got Jimmy Rollins, Andres Jimenez, and Glaber Torres. For our golds, they gave us Bru uh, Gratterall, Jonathan Loisica, Michael Kopech, and Kevin Gosman. And it, Silvers, we got Nico Goodrum. That could be a good one. Jesse Winker. Okay. Bobby Dahlbeck and Mitch Garver. Really good silvers, to be honest with you. And that's it for the content. Showed you guys the new, well, the captain glitch that's been going on so you guys can enjoy those captain boosts without having to use those captains. If you choose, you do not want to use them. Anyways, be sure you guys like, subscribe for new, comment down below. What's your favorite card in the new content? Which captain are you guys enjoying or trying right now on your team, if any? And I'll see you guys in the next video.